Hey guys, what's going on? Today, this video is going to be baked potatoes. Now, baked potatoes are nice. They warm you up, they're filling. You can really put whatever you want on it. And today, we're going to be making baked potatoes in the air fryer and some bacon. Got the tray for the bacon all set out. You know, got to get that important. Get the foil down so the grease doesn't get everywhere. That will be going in the oven, but later. It doesn't take too long to cook those. It's gonna take about 45 minutes to cook these potatoes. Now they're small, so they're, they're some small little guys. Not too big, not too small. But, you know, that's why I'm doing two each. Two potatoes for me, two potatoes for my girl. Hey, it is what it is, you know? Had some bacon, some sour cream and cheese. Ooh wee. All right, so first things first, you're gonna want an air fryer, obviously. Um, baked potatoes will be going in at 400 for 45 minutes. Kind of a long time. So I'm starting it now. So we're gonna get those wrapped up. I'm gonna show you how to wrap them. You gotta poke them with a fork, aerate it a little bit, and then cover it, drizzle it just a little bit with some oil. You know, just a little, little drizzle drizzle. We'll pop it in there, we'll get that cooking. And then whenever time comes, we'll get the bacon prepared, put it out on the sheet, and we'll get that cooking too, and I'll show you guys uh, the end product, basically, okay? So we're just gonna run through this process and see where it takes us. First things first, potatoes. All right, so we've got the potatoes, oil, and salt. I forgot you need salt. Oh, I also went ahead and tore off some pieces of aluminum foil. We're gonna be wrapping those once we aerate them and cook them in a little bit of oil and salt. So let's let's hop into that and then uh, we'll wrap them up and then just toss them right in. We'll see if I can do this. One thing I forgot to mention, don't stab your hand whenever you're doing this. It's very easy to slip off the potato and it go right into the palm of your fan, of your fan, your hand, okay? Really important, don't hurt yourself. Cooking is dangerous. Let's get these last two poked. We'll oil them up and salt it. Beautiful. All right, I'm gonna put the fork off to the side. We don't need that right now. I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of our extra virgin olive oil. You wanna use olive oil? Okay, don't use any other oil. I mean, you can, I think, but we use olive oil, okay? You don't have to get Kroger brand. We just get Kroger brand, okay? Oh. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a little cradle first because you want it to sit in the oil. I forgot to mention this. We're gonna make a little cradle. So let's go ahead and do one of them. Plop one down. We'll wrap it up a little bit. Drizzle a little bit of oil, a little bit of salt, and then uh, we'll do the rest of three, all right? Just like that. Now, I did make a mistake and put my fing my oily fingers in the salt. That's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to the, the the other three.
All right. So I just got the three done. We'll go and go ahead and salt them. It's nice to salt on each, you know. Helps tenderize it. All right. So as you can see, salt on all of them. Go ahead and wrap these up and we'll pop it in the oven. All right, I gotta plug this in. One, two, three, four. Do air fry 400 for 45 minutes. All right, we'll let that run. And whenever we get to about 20 minutes left on that, roughly, we'll start the bacon. That way everything finishes right around the same time. So, I'll see you back whenever bacon's ready, all right? All right, all right guys, so potatoes are just about 20 minutes away from being done. It says 23, so let's go, go ahead and start on the bacon. So what I'm gonna do is I'm over the bacon packet, grab four slabs of bacon, wrap it up in some cling wrap, put it back in the fridge, make sure it's nice and uh, sealed so it doesn't go bad. Um, We'll start the oven at 375. It takes roughly 20 minutes. If you're doing it in the oven, you could do pan, like sear it on the pan and stuff. But I like to do it in the oven. It just kind of like cooks how I like it. So we'll put the bacon on the tray, do a little seasoning, black pepper, some salt, pop it in the oven, get it going. Should be pretty good. So let's go ahead and start the oven. Get that going. Oven's nice and going. Now, let's grab the bacon. Some hickory, no, hardwood smoked bacon. I'm doing four slabs today. So, let me put the camera down. I'm gonna get the bacon out on the tray. And then we'll do a little bit of uh, seasoning goodies and hopefully the oven is ready by the time we're done. All right, so we got the bacon down on the sheet. Nice four pieces of bacon, you know. We don't need too much, they're small potatoes. Don't need too much bacon. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab some black pepper, ground black pepper, and some salt. So let's go ahead and sprinkle some salt on it. Need a little bit more salt on that, Sam. Come on now. Oh, the oven's done. Beautiful. We're ready. Beautiful. Just a little bit more. Alright. Salt's done. Grab the black pepper. We got the black pepper, we got the salt. Actually, I think I use a little bit more black pepper, let's be honest. All right, that should be good. Oven is ready. Let's go ahead and plop this in the oven. I always wanna be careful with the oven, chat. Buddy chat, we'll continue to streaming. Boys, let's let that sit in there. We'll set a timer. 20 minutes. 
All right. That should end off in about 14. That'll be 20 minutes. Awesome. So, I'll show you guys kind of what, what they're done. I mean, I'm not going to open them. Well, I'll open one to show you what it's like. But, obviously I have to go get my wife later. So, I'm cooking everything in, in advance. Hopefully it'll stay warm by the time I get home. But, this is basically how you make some really easy baked potatoes. Good old air fryer. You got your bacon, you got sour cream and cheese in the fridge. You can't go wrong, man. Some A1 sauce. Oof, so good. So, I'll probably clip to the end, show you the end bacon, one of the potatoes. The potatoes, I mean, everyone knows what a baked potato looks like. But, uh, yeah. We'll, uh, clip to that. If not, then I'll do a little intro. I mean, outro. Yeah. Alright, see you guys in a few. Alright guys, a little update. A little, uh, you know, snip if you will. Let's take a look at the bacon, shall we? Now, if a gander nice on inside of there. Oh. Oh yeah, that looks good. That just looks delicious. We'll let that keep on cooking. We got 10 minutes left on that. We got about how many minutes, Mr. Fryer? Eight minutes on the potatoes. It should finish up just around the same time, you know. And then we'll keep the bacon. I'll probably take it off the tray, put it onto a plate, put it in the microwave, keep it nice and warm till I get back. And then we'll probably just leave the potatoes in the air fryer. It's a nice, warm, toasty spot for them. So. Yeah, that's my uh, air frying baked potato extravaganza. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'll have a picture for you of the potatoes, the bacon, and everything once it's done and we decide to eat. So, thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to make these videos. I'm, I'm going to get my wife on here soon. So... There'll be another person to kind of interact with. But yeah, see you guys later. Take care.